All right, for this little project, we're going to make a canister like these right here. All it is is a, a hollowed out, the pith of a stem hollowed out with a cap that fits. And in this case, bamboo, so we didn't need a bottom, but the other ones have bottoms of some other wood. That's what these are right here, just different diameters to fit different diameters of insides when these get when these get done so there's the bamboo this is mullion this is yucca i've also used elderberry works really well and you'll need some kind of a string in this case this is a joshua tree uh, leaf that was already dead at the bottom of the plant this is also joshua leaf and this is just a little piece of something that I found when I was in Korea. And this actually is the one that I have in my survival kit. And I keep my needles in there so I can take out slivers and make baskets and sew things. So I have it wrapped with some artificial sinew like stuff that you can make bowstrings with. And this is some 40 pound Dimena line for fishing. All right. So let's get started here pretty easy. I'm just going to take the piece of bamboo right here. That's a node. And that's where it's solid like this right here. And we're going to cut it right at the node. Oh yeah, you need a knife too. Just about everything I teach you need a knife for. I stay a little below the node here just because it's easy for me to take off extra right here but if I cut it too close I can't put it back on and I just keep doing that I was gonna say I just keep doing that same thing around and around until it snaps off so that's pretty good that's what we wanted right there we wanted a little hole in there or a little extra there all right now we have to decide what length we want this proportionally I think I want it about that long so I cut it off right there. Got that cut off now to length and I smoothed it out a little bit with a knife like so and just tried to level it out so it's kind of flat. Next step is to find a stick on here that works for it. And we're just looking for one that fits in. All right, so I snipped this off now with uh, little loppers and we're gonna get a good fit on here. Yep. That's going to work. That's going to be a good fit. We'll have to shape it a little bit, but it'll be good. Shape it, obviously, just carve away at it. This has kind of got a little oblong shape. It's, shape. it's not quite round. So I'm going to make my piece in there to match that. Yep, that works out pretty well. That's a good fit in there. It's really good. And you can see I only have it going in that far. You don't need it going in very far at all. All it does is take up space inside your container. So just make it how, make it short just so it sticks in there nice and tight. And I usually make it so you can twist them. I cracked it somewhere, yep. There, it's cracked. So you can leave the crack in there. I usually do because it doesn't really matter. Um, or you can wrap it with sinew, but I just leave them usually because I just remember not to push it in that far. There, just stretches a little bit, no big deal. All right, so we're going to mark where we want our, how big we want our handle. And in this case, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger than I normally would because I'm going to drill a hole with a knife. And to do that, we need a little bit of extra wood. So I'm going to want my hole about right there. Out there, and so I'm going to give myself a little extra room to work with. I'm going to cut it off right there. So I cut this all off. I actually just used that lopper again and cut it off. And now I'm going to make a 
the space where I'm going to put my drill hole. And I can't drill through this entire thing. It's too thick. So I'm going to thin it down. And the way to do that is put your knife down and push straight down. And then twist it up so you peel off a little piece. It's kind of like a rudimentary chisel. And I'm going to keep doing that down and down and down. And if I had a bigger knife, I'd tap it with a hammer, but this knife's not that strong. That's all I'm doing is going to clean that out. And I'm going to do that on both sides until I've got a thinner wedge in the middle. Okay, so I'm almost done with this. i got a little bit left to work on. Not much, though. It's almost done. I'll show you the cross-section. So that's what we got. It's looking pretty good. I'm going to shave off a little more to make it kind of even. But it doesn't have to be even. You can just go through this whole thing one side if you want. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're not building a church. We're just getting it done here. There, I like that. All right, now just start in with your hole. Pretty simple, just twist your knife. I'll zoom the camera back so you can see, but you probably know what I'm doing. I'm just turning the knife just like this. I'm going to drill through about what I figure is halfway. I'm going to turn it around. I'm going to drill through the other way. All right, that's a pretty decent hole. We'll take that. Then we'll make some string for it and put the string through it. All right, so what I did at the bottom was I took the extra little bit that I had around the edge right here, and I just drilled through from that side, turned it over, and drilled through the other side. And I made a string out of the Joshua tree root, and now we're just gonna go ahead and put this together. A couple of different ways to do it, as long as I got a loop there, I might as well use that loop, and I'm going to just feed this through it if I can get it to fit. All right, got the string through there. Now I'm going to tie a little knot in the end of this, and that knot is going to keep this from sliding back through. Right like that. And I uh, like to tie one on the other side of it so it doesn't slide down. <clears throat> you don't necessarily need this. You know, you can just do it without it, but without the string. But I always lose the caps, so I started putting the strings on. There. Done. There we go. Ta-da! Cool. That's a nice one. I like that red. Alright, hope you enjoyed. Talk to you next time.